hello everyone welcome back to vc's craft world um i know it's been several it's been over a week since um i put out a video but um i wanted to come on and show you well, of course we're doing christmas in july so i have my hold on you can't see it i have my basket already um so this basket i purchased from hobby lobby like I don't know, last year when I was starting the basket, gift basket business. And I think I paid like $5 for this basket, but that was when, you know, I wasn't sure about how much to pay um, for products, inventory or whatever, um, but they were on clearance. So I figured it was a pretty good deal for a nice looking quality basket. So I went, I went for it and I actually brought, I want to say, maybe like five or six of them, um, but yeah. So, and this is the crock pot that I got at Dollar General. I think it was like two or three dollars. Um, I got this last year as well. I just never had a chance to, well, it was fixed up in this basket, but I'm kind of like redoing this basket. So what I did was I let the crock pot in and it's filled at the bottom already with my, you know, stuffing paper. I left this in here because I know I want to kind of create around the um, slow cooker because this is the focal point. So let's get right into this video. Hold on. Let's see. It's right here. So we have this. Um, we have this. Um, gather sign that I purchased at Hobby Lobby as well on clearance. And it's like a cutting board. I thought it was really cute. So we'll go ahead and place this in the back. And then I purchased this little slow cooker book from Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna put this here. And I kind of want the word gather to not be hidden. So I'm gonna put the book like that. And then we have this oven mitt set that I purchased from, um, where was it? Ollie's, I purchased this from Ollie's. And what I did was I put a little piece of cardboard from the boxes that we were using for the other past holidays. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off, but I wanted this oven mitt to kind of stand on its own and be sturdy. So I just cut the bottom part off so that it doesn't stick out. And let's see, I think I'm gonna put this, I don't want it to be one-sided. So I'm gonna put it, hold on. This is when I need to kind of look and see what I'm doing. Maybe I could put this yeah, here on the inside, but yet trying not to cover up the word gather. So you can still see it. And it has the oven mitt pot holder. All right, and then let's see. I have my spoon set that I bought these from, I think I got the, I know I got this from Dollar Tree um, and I think I got, I think I got them all from Dollar Tree, honestly. So let's see. I think I'm gonna put these right here, kind of in front of the mitt. And then on the inside, hold on one second. I just remembered something, one moment. All right, I'm back. So I just wanted to get some stuffing paper to put on the inside of the um, slow cooker. So let's see. I wanted to make this kind of bougie, should I say? Um, so, or a little bit higher quality looking basket, even though I paid, you know, a fraction of the cost for the slow cooker and the little basket, I still want to make it look 
good, like it's good quality items. So I went and purchased this um, fancy looking little pasta bag from Home Goods. You know, the Home Goods section. I wish I could have found a smaller bag, but this was all that they had the other day. And this bag, um, so this is kind of like a little trick or a twist um, to making less expensive items look like they're higher quality or making your basket look high quality. It's with the basket and the, you know, the basket that you choose, dress it up. And then um, some of the items, and we, we've all discussed this, like you make some of your inexpensive items look more expensive. I'm taking the tag off the bag. Um, making it look a little bit more expensive. So for this bag of pasta, like I said, it was the only one that I really liked and they didn't have any smaller sizes. So I did pay $5.99 for this. I wish I could have gotten it um, for a little bit cheaper. I was trying to see if they had any on clearance because sometimes they do that. But when you're out shopping um, the clearance section, don't sleep on like, Places like Home Goods, you know, TJ Maxx, places like that, because they can help your basket look, you know, a little better quality um, for for pennies, really. So I want to. I don't. See, this bag is so huge. I don't want to cover gather the word gather. If I put my pasta here, it's going to have to um, cover. And then I purchased some marinara sauce and I wanted it to look like, you know, not like a regular grocery store brand like Prego or Ragu. I wanted it to be kind of like, you know, marinara sauce. So um, not so much fancy, but something different that looked like, you know, not that doesn't look like it came literally off the grocery store, grocery store um, shelf. So I purchased this at Home Goods as well. And I'm trying to take these stickers off. And of course, I'm in a rush, so the stickers don't want to comply. They want to stay stuck on. But I will definitely um, take this off a little bit better after the video, but I definitely wanted to film today. I didn't want to keep putting it off. So I think that this would be cute like that. I definitely want it to, let's see. I definitely want the sauce. Maybe the pasta can be on the side. Let's see, hold on. I need to turn it around and look at it myself. I think the pasta is gonna end up. Sorry, we have to cover up the gather sign, but that's what I want it to. I want to make my pasta. I want to have it in the crock pot. Then I found these nice little, um, I found these at Hobby Lobby on clearance as well, um, dish towels. So I'm going to go ahead and pop those right here. And it just says simply blessed. Uh -oh. So we have that there. I should have taped those down. Let me grab those. One second. Okay, I'm back. So I ended up putting the pasta here on the side because it wasn't gonna work with the, I mean, the sauce, the marinara sauce over there on the side. It wasn't gonna work here with the pasta. The pasta bag was just entirely too huge. Um, and so I also picked up one of these little sparkling ciders from Dollar Tree and popped that right there so it could be kind of like a pasta and a wine um, type of night. I forgot to put my lid, so I'll put my lid right here to go to the crock pot. And 
here we are with a cute, fancy, and this could be for Christmas. You know, if I wanted to, I can put like a little Christmas sign, maybe some berries, holly um, right here to add a more festive um, type look to it. Or I can leave it as is if you want to. And for me, like if this basket sells before the holidays, I can definitely take this oven mitt set out and then just pop it in with a regular red muffin, uh, muffin um, oven mitt and then, or black so it can match the um, dish towels. And then it can just be a home, like for housewarming. And I could put this sign, if it'll fit, right there. But I like it this way better. I like how it gives the little pasta, it kind of sets the tone, the pasta, the marinara sauce, the wine, um, you know, and then the crock pot cookbook for meal ideas. I really like this basket. I think it's super duper cute. Um, tell me what you guys think for Christmas in July. Like I said, let me, I think I have, hold on. I think I have some little berries or something. Hold on, let me see. Actually, I do. So to make it more festive, you can put these berries in front. Hold on, let me turn it around. And this could definitely be, like I said, a Christmas holiday gift basket. I would love to get a gift like this. I think it's cute. It makes me want to eat pasta. And there you have it. All right, that was our little video here. First start to, I know I'm a little bit late, I'm like a week late, but first start to Christmas in July. And again, not all the videos um, for Christmas in July will be um, Christmas videos. I do have a couple of birthdays coming up, so I will do um, birthday, a couple of birthday baskets. And then what else do I have? I have some thank you baskets that I want to um, send out. So here you have it. Please comment, share, subscribe, and let me know what you think about this basket. I think it's really cute. I love it. I would love to receive something like this. And of course, yes, I'm going to wrap it up and I'm going to put a bow on it. I'll come back and I'll slide some pictures in um, in my next video of what this looked like. Or you can just see it. If I don't do it, don't shoot me because I know I say some things that I might not mean. But um, I'm, I'm trying to do my best, but you can um, also go to my Instagram because I'm going to start taking pictures. That's one of my things to get better with is my social media sites, taking pictures. So these baskets don't have to sit here. This pasta doesn't have to get stale or age. It can sell definitely before Christmas. And like I said, I can I'll take a couple of pictures. I'll put the home sign in front um, and just, you know, so it could be a realtor gift if they wanted to do that as well. But I just wanted to pop on, show you this video. Please comment, share, subscribe. I know I already said that, but um, let me know if you like it. Bye. <laughs>